When you're reviewing ammo, you want a target rich environment. That's why we headed up to northern Nevada for some shooting with the 17 Hornet 25 grain. This is on the 17 Hornady Hornet 25 grain hollow point ammo from Hornady. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. Hornady released this new 25 grain hollow point ammunition last year, uh, which we did get some from Hornady, but we didn't get a chance to take it out until this spring. So basically we're going to go through the specs, a little bit of info on our range report, and then the hunt report. So this 17 Hornet has a 25 grain hollow point and it's a varmint bullet and it has a listed muzzle velocity of 33.75 feet per second. Now our test showed an average of 33.83 feet per second out of a 24 inch barrel. It's a CZ 527. That equals to 632 foot-pounds of energy and a 0.187 ballistic coefficient. The price range on this runs from 26 to 30 dollars a box, but that's a box of 50. So here we are at the, the range that we set up. You can see the target out there at 100 yards. And there's the ammo in front of the 20 gram ammo. And what we did is we shot five shot groups. We shot 10 of those groups at 100 yards. We had an average of 0.678 inches at 100 yards. And right there you can see laying dead with some blood. It's a ground squirrel that popped up a couple of yards in front of the target. We were already sighted in, so I took it. No video on that though. And then here's the ballistic results that we put in. We have a zero of 200 yards, and that way at 300 we're only, only short 5.3 inches, so it makes for some long shots. This is our setup. The gauntlet is what I call it. That far curve way out there, which you'll see closer, is 220 yards. And here's the hunt report. These guys over here on the left in that general area are about 80 yards. And as you push out further, the green out there, oh, here's one. That one's going to be shown in slow motion here. Can't pass that up. The other shots that you hear are the other barometer crew. They, I cut them loose because I just set the camera up on this. There's one that I whistled to a stop. And take them. So right out there we can see that one. Um, He's dragging that guy. Animals die. They're eating their buddies, dragging them around, chewing on their skulls and their brains and their guts. That was about 180 yards. They get a bullet. Okay, here we go for some far shots. So the far ones way out there on the curve is 220 yards. And looks can be deceiving. Hang on for the shot. Looks can be deceiving with the depth of field of camera work, but those are all measured out. Again, in the 80 yard range. I was vowing to shoot only longer ones, but. Too good. And then here's one coming up that I nicked and followed up. Too good to pass up. That was out there at the, about the 180 range. So my final thoughts on this ammunition. Um, as I'm going through this, there's going to be a bunch of other shots. 
I went 14 shots in a row without a miss on this, and that was from 80 yards out to 220 yards. Um, the 25 grain hollow point I've used in the past, I've used it to reload in my 17 Remington for Predators, mainly Coyotes. Excellent bullet for that size game. Um, on these small varmints here, it does a good job. On a few of them, you can hear a little bit of a ricochet and such, but that's not anything to be concerned about because the bullet is blowing up pretty well. Um, so back to the ammunition. The ammunition is accurate, as you saw. Um, it does the job on these small varmints, and it really keeps me in practice because I am going to use the 17 Hornet for larger varmints come this fall and winter. And the ammunition is great. And I bought one, no, I'm sorry, I bought two boxes after Hornady sent me the other boxes. That way I can have it. I'm going to shoot all those and then throw that brass into my pile to reload come winter. So that's about it on this ammo. Head over to our site for the full article. The link is right here. And the article is very extensive, gives a lot of background information. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 10,000. That would be awesome if we can do it in the next month or so. Thanks a lot and see you over at varmature.com.